Hi, this is Grant with Spring Creek Manufacturing, and today I will be showing you our Tough Camp Saw. Our Tough Camp Saw comes in three different sizes. We have a 30-inch saw, a 24-inch saw, which is this one here, as well as a 21-inch saw. All three different saw sizes will come with the same anodized aluminum framework with stainless fasteners and a black high-density polyethylene plastic handle. Some of the key benefits of having the anodized aluminum framework is it stays lightweight, but it also will keep its strength and its durability. It will not rust at all with the, the frame of the saw. Uh, another nice thing about having that high density polyethylene plastic handle is it will not weather in different weather conditions. Uh, it won't swell when it gets wet, it won't rot out in the sun, and it'll keep its structure and its framework throughout the life of the saw. Uh, so I stay tuned here and I will show you how to open and close the saw and some of its uh, specs as I use it for you. So as you can see here, the saw is in its collapsed storing position. Uh, one of the real good benefits of this in the position it's in right now is the blade is actually concealed inside the spine of the saw itself. Really easy for backpacking, putting it in a pack, uh, whether you're going in your vehicle, in the, the shed, in the garage, wherever you plan on storing it, it takes up minimal space and the blade is concealed as I said so you don't have to worry about uh, getting cut because the blade is very sharp. Um, as I said, it is really simple to use and so so to get it from the collapsed position into the cutting position, you simply grab the leg opposite of the handle and rotate that all the way around like so. It will stop against the spine once you get to the end point. Uh, then the leg that is on the same side of the handle is you lift it to about a 45 degree angle so that you can clear the locking pin. And then the blade just slides out like so. Set the blade off to the side so that you don't cut yourself. And then rotate the leg on the opposite side all the way around as you see. Then simply, you take the nutted end of the saw blade and you slide it into the slot on one of the legs. Rotate the handle around and that actually acts as leverage once you get it into the leg. And then you just rotate it and it snaps into place. This keeps a nice tight tension, but you still get that big range of cut space. You can cut not only brush for clearing out trails, but you actually can cut some pretty big sized logs with it. Uh, stay tuned and I'll get some cutting done here. So So as you can see here, I was able to cut through this log here with ease. That's one of the real key features of this saw is you get a lot of front to back cut space. Um, so you get real long draws and some quick cuts. You don't have to worry about tearing your arm out in the process. You let the frame and the blade of the saw do, do all the work for you. Another key feature that we have here is we have a tube spine. Why that's a real great feature is you don't have to worry about while you're cutting any bending, any twisting, any kinking of the frame of the saw or the blade itself. Um, I've, I can't tell you how many times I've had a saw that is bent on me and then for the rest of the life of the saw I'm cutting at an angle. Uh, with this saw you will not get any of that. It will keep its, its shape for the life of the saw. Um, as I mentioned earlier, you get a lot of cut space with these saws. I believe with the 21 and the 24 inch, you get a 7 inch cut space. With the 30 inch, you get about an 8.5 inch cut space. Uh, so you're not worrying about cutting just some, some branches, some brush. Uh, you can cut some pretty sizable logs um, and uh, it, it'll, it'll last for you for a while. So uh, stay tuned and I will show you how to collapse this back down to the storing position. So I will show you how to get this from the cutting position down to the storing position if you're getting ready to put it away uh, in a pack, in, in a vehicle, in a garage, wherever it may be. So simply all you do is you take the saw and you grab the top of the handle and you grab it and you rotate it around. This will then release the blade and the tension from the blade so that it will able just to slide right out of the slots of the frame. You're going to go ahead and set this aside as you did before so you don't have to worry about getting cut or nicked by it. Uh, as you did before, you just rotate the handle right around all the way collapsed. Another one you just rotate to the other side at about a 40-45 degree angle and set that aside. And then you're going to do just as opposite as before. You're going to take the blade and you're going to rotate it around in the slot of the handle like so. That way the locking pin is, is in the upwards position. Then with the nut side of the blade first, you're going to slide it into the tube of the saw so that it is concealed. 
the lip on the handle will then slot in between the leg and the tube of the spine. And then you can just pinch it on top of the locking peg all the way in the collapsed position, as you see here. That will lock it into place. So now that you have it in the collapsed position, uh, the saw will not rattle around. It'll store away nice in a bag, pack, um, vehicle, garage, wherever you're going to put it until its next usage. Uh, so thank you again for watching this video. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 218-735-8719 or drop us a view on the web at springcreek.com and we would love to hear from you.